Hello, welcome. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel, and we're going to do a very quick uh, uh, presentation on a, a placental abnormality uh, that's uh, unfortunately encountered uh, far too frequently. Uh, the patient is a 23-year-old patient who, um, uh, during the last trimester of uh, pregnancy, developed um, uh, fever and uh, some uh, additional uh, symptoms of uh, spotting uh, and uh, had a premature uh, delivery of a uh, underweight infant. Uh, examination of the placenta revealed a small placenta, uh, which as you can see here, had a markedly abnormal uh, uh, villus architecture. Uh, we can see a low magnification that uh, uh, the range of villi from small to large is uh, quite uh, uh, wide, uh, but the number of small ma uh, mature villi with syncytial knots is uh, vastly decreased. Additionally, we see some evidence that the uh, vasculature may be uh, compromised a little bit. Uh, we'll look at uh, some of the uh, features here at higher magnification to get an idea of uh, what's going on. Uh, so here, uh, an area that I've highlighted, uh, we see um, an area of uh, fused villi uh, with uh, sort of a fibrotic appearing or a leaf-like pattern. Um, not a lot of inflammation, although this, I think, technically would account for uh, uh, chronic uh, villitis. Uh, and here in the center of this area, I think we get a clue right off as to what may be going on because we see um, this uh, sort of uh, stromal cell that has a very uh, uh, abundant cytoplasm that's sort of purplish color <clears throat> and uh, placental, uh, or excuse me, nuclear inclusion. Additionally, looking here at some of these other cells nearby, we see there's uh, some sort of eosinophilic uh, inclusions in the cytoplasm as there are in this uh, location as well. So this certainly raises the uh, question of uh, CMV um, <clears throat> infection of the placenta. We'll look around a little bit further to see some of the other features that can be seen in association with this. Um, it actually is not terribly difficult to find these uh, inclusion bodies, um, and they're present in several areas, which you could almost uh, pick out at low magnification. Um, let's not load. So here's uh, probably an inclusion body here. We also see a few areas of acutely damaged uh, villi. Um, here's some inclusions in this area. Um, so there is a degree of uh, sort of uh, multifocal acute uh, villitis that also appears to be going on with sort of a fibrinoid necrosis of the cytotrophoblast. The placenta is the first site that is affected um, uh, as maternal uh, transmission has occurs uh, due to the exposure to the maternal bloodstream um, in this disorder. And uh, then the fetus may be infected secondarily. If, of course, if this happens early in pregnancy, the uh, pregnancy will usually abort uh, spontaneously, but occasionally uh, if it occurs in the third trimester in susceptible individuals, uh, then uh, we may get a potentially viable fetus uh, that will nevertheless oftentimes have uh, long-term sequelae. So here we see more of this sort of fibrotic uh, appearing uh, villi. Uh, we'll take a quick look at some of the vasculature because uh, oftentimes we know that in uh, other locations, the cytomegalovirus tends to uh, love to infect uh, endothelial cells. But remember here that, of course, the uh, uh, blood exposure um, and therefore the at-risk uh, epithelium, if you will, is really the cytotrophoblast. Um, and so cytotrophoblastic involvement and subsequent infection is going to be more frequent than um, the uh, fetal circulation uh, as we see in the center of the villi. And so although we can see some evidence of uh, uh, maybe some endovascular type of uh, response here, uh, we don't see a lot of uh, uh, nuclear inclusions in this location. They're going to be found elsewhere in the stromal cells or in the form of damaged uh, surface uh, some cyto and syncytial trophoblast. Uh, so that's essentially what we're going to be seeing with this type of an infection. Uh, the clue, of course, is to recognize the low power, the abnormal architecture, 
uh, of the placental villi go to higher magnification in search of the uh, viral inclusions, uh, which should not be difficult to find. Um, and if we actually go to the, uh, uh, so here's one right here, it shows up quite nicely, uh, a nice cytomegalic inclusion. Uh, we can go to another one here, uh, see a nice eosinophilic inclusion in this cell as well as in this cell uh, where it's the stromal uh, uh, features. So uh, that's a brief run through on some of the findings to expect in cytomegalovirus infected uh, placenta. Thanks very much for joining you, joining me. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. We'd love to have you uh, get notice of uh, releases of future videos. And we hope you'll join us on a future uh, program as well. So until then, thanks a lot.